Welcome back guys to another absolutely lovely sunny day here in Surrey and today I wanted to give my thoughts on quite a large topic and that is whether defenders are safe. Evidently no they're not. Now the USA actually stopped allowing these defenders to be imported back in I think it was 1998 because they didn't meet the federal safety regulations back then so they banned them from 98. You can still import the old ones but uh, you have to do them as classics and that's the only way you can currently get them in. Now, in the UK, this never officially passed the Euro NCAP test, which is the, uh, the crash test. They also don't make this anymore in the UK. Now, it's not just from a safety aspect. That is from a, like a general development and moving forward aspect. But, you know, it's still not classed as the safest car. So we wanted to look at some of the reasons why that actually is. Now, first of all, is the steering wheel. It doesn't have an airbag. There are, in fact, no airbags in the Defender. Over here is about as close as you only get to an airbag. This um, has been padded. I've had that padded, so you know that's probably better than an airbag now. Uh, but yeah, not great. There's there's no airbags anywhere. There's also no seatbelt pretensioners. Now the the purpose of the pretensioner is if you have an accident, it's been a back round again. The pretensioner has got like a little explosive thing in it and it kind of pulls you back and puts you in the best possible position for when the airbag smacks you in the face obviously you don't have an airbag so you don't need a pretensioner or at least that is their um trail of thought for that one there's also not a huge amount of support above you either up in the roof apparently the uh the roofs do cave in quite easily on these cars if you roll them over so you don't really want to roll them over that's for sure then you've got the things like the um the tires and the brakes the tires are normally all terrain so they're they're generally not obviously they're not road road tires so uh, they're never going to perform as good when you need them and if you brake hard again the brakes they're adequate but not in comparison to we've got an older Range Rover it's a year older than this but easily obviously <laughs> breaks this you've then got some of the older cars the inward facing seats in the rear obviously on these ones they, they don't make them anymore because they are lethal they look cool but you do not want to be in an accident sitting in an inward facing seat with the lap belt on uh, if you do the the force that sends you sideways uh, it basically causes horrible internal injuries and often leads to death so yeah they look cool, but if you do have them, don't put people in them. And if you do, you can't wear a seatbelt. So it's best just to try and change them to, uh, to forward facing ones. But then there are the positives. The newer ones do come with traction and electronic stability control. So that does give you a little bit of reassurance when you need it. Regular low speed accidents in these cars, you cause very little damage to the cars themselves. Like I've seen pictures on Facebook from the groups where defenders have been in, you know, relatively big smashes or at least you think they are and all they've done they, they've kind of like dented the front bumper you look at the car that's had the crash and it's a complete write-off like the bonnets up to the windscreen now you can make them safer there's not a huge amount you can do to make them safer but one of the most important things i'll probably recommend is to install a roll cage now there's various ones available you can get an internal one that kind of goes around here and it goes over and it also goes to the back so if you've got kids or anyone in the back it goes to the back of the uh the top windows there and that just offers a little bit of safety you can also get the full external ones as well that go all the way over the top of the car and down the sides uh there are kind of half roll cages that attach to the front of the window and literally just go across the the, the front bit but they are more just for the aesthetic look of it. They do offer a bit of protection, obviously, but not compared to a full roll cage, either internal or external. If you look at, I think the company's called Safety Devices. They are a really good company in terms of their um, the roll cages and just general protection for defenders. You can install DRLs as well because, you know, a massive black defender clearly isn't big enough and obvious enough coming at you when you're pulling out of a junction. So maybe put some LEDs on it as well and hopefully some people will see you. You will not believe the amount of people that just think this car's invisible. I don't get it. It seems like the bigger the car, the more invisible you become. And finally, just learn to become a defensive driver. Um, you could be the best driver in the world, but it's other people. There's so many Muppets on the road these days. You need to constantly be aware of your surroundings and just looking out and thinking the worst is always gonna happen. I often try and predict what the driver's gonna do, thinking if they're stupid, they're gonna do this. And honestly, like 70% of the times, they will do that stupid thing. So yeah, it's, it's like a pessimistic outlook on other drivers, but it's probably the safest way to be if you wanna try and avoid having an accident in uh, this, this day and age. So to summarize, yes, this is certainly not the safest car out there, but you know, that doesn't stop people going out buying classic Porsches or 
you know, kit cars that they're building sheds held together with glue and staples or riding motorbikes. I mean, they are hugely dangerous on the roads these days. So I guess a lot of it is down to the luckiness or the unluckiness of, of having the accident. I mean, there's so many different variables involved with having an accident you never know what the outcome may be regardless of what car you're in. So I guess if you're the type of person that really worries about vehicle safety and always wants the latest technology in a car, the latest automatic crash avoidance systems, the biggest airbag curtains, the latest technology, then you probably shouldn't be looking to buy a Defender in all honesty. Whereas, you know, if you're the type of person that enjoys a more carefree abandon, you know, like skydiving, bungee jumping, looking over the edge of cliffs, then a Defender might just be for you. So I'm going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up, uh, drop a comment, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you again soon.